Hi there, welcome back to Mr. Meal's Music. I'm Anthony Neal. It's time to learn how to play the game Rocky Mountain. But before we do, uh, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell thingy uh, to make sure that you are informed every time I upload a video so you stay up to date. Once the kids know how to sing the song, then we uh, move around the room to the macro and the micro beat. So they'd be marching to the beat like this. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High when you're on that. Or it could be like this. The macro beat. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High when you're on that. Once they feel that beat, then they're ready for the next step to get ready for the game. So now that they feel the beat for the song, um, I partner them up. Once they have a partner, they're going to stand across from each other and they're going to be doing this pattern here. So it'll be pat, clap, out, clap, pat, clap, out, clap. So with their partner, they would be going like this. And this is going to go with a, uh, the do, 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 remember me. So it'll be going like this. Do, 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 remember me. Do, 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 remember me. Once the partners are, are able to do that, then I have them go to the standing circle with the whole class. And they're actually going to be standing next to their partner. So now we start to learn how to uh, move to the verses of the song. So the first verse is the Rocky Mountain part. So they're going to be holding hands with their neighbors in a full circle around the room, and they'd be going um, clockwise, and we'd uh, do it to, we could try the macro beat or the micro beat. So we could go Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. If the kids think that doesn't feel quite right, we could try the micro beat. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. Then ask your students if they can hear a descending line. So a line, uh, a melody that's going down. When you're on that rocky mountain, la so mi do, la so mi do. When they hear that, that's their signal to reverse their direction. So they've been marching like this. When they hear the, um, when they hear the descending line, then they're going uh, counterclockwise. So it'd be going. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. Once they can do going uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, then you can set them up to be going into the refrain. And the refrain is the part where they're padding with their neighbor. So make sure that they know who their, or their partner was for the padding. And then it would look like this. Rocky mountain, rocky mountain, rocky mountain high. Reverse. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. And then they turn to their partner because they're standing right by him. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. The next verse of the song is stormy ocean, stormy ocean, stormy ocean wide. When you're in that stormy ocean, there's no place to hide. So this is the kind of the wild verse with waves crashing. So we're creating whirlpools. So with the partner they were just patting and clapping with, they're going to uh, spin each other by their right arm. So it's going to be going stormy ocean, stormy ocean, stormy ocean wide. And then on that descending line again, that's always their, their signal to change. So they just spun their partner around once, and then they're going to take their left hand, and they're going to catch their other neighbor. So before you do any swinging or any, any swinging with right arm or left arm, have them face their first partner. And this is their padding partner. You could say, hi, I'm going to swing you with my right, right arm. And then have your students say that. Have your students turn the other way. Hi, I'm going to swing you with my left arm. Have them do it again, and this time shake with their right hands. Hi, I'm going to swing you with this right hand. Hi, I'm going to swing you with this left hand. Then walk through it. So they're going to be going swing with the right, swing with the right. Now they're going to catch the next neighbor. Swing with the left, swing with the left. And then they should be set up with their original partner to do the padding again. So it should look like this for the second verse. Stormy ocean, stormy ocean, stormy ocean wide. When you're in that stormy ocean, there's no place to hide. Do, 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 and you know how to do that part. And then the final verse, the sunny valley. So this is the peaceful one. So they can be going, it's going to be the same sort of movement as Rocky Mountain, but now they're moving a little more flowingly. So instead of marching to the micro beat around the circle, like Rocky Mountain, now they can move to the macro beat and take their time. Sunny valley, sunny valley, sunny valley low. When you're in that sunny valley, that's how they would be moving to that macro beat. Again, they'd be switching directions when the melody descends, and then they're all set up for their partner again for the refrain.
Once they're able to do each verse, then you try the whole song in its entirety. Usually, if you do a little, uh, little interlude in between each verse, it lets their brains catch up to what's coming next. Otherwise, it becomes major chaos. So after the padding part, you could go, jun, 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 and then go into the next, um, next verse. Once your kids become hot shots, then you can challenge them um, to do the whole entire song without any words. So they're just going to be, um, they can sing it on la, 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 but they still have to do the actions that would match those um, parts of the song. Otherwise, you can take, a, take out any sounds completely, and they just audiate the, sound, the song and still have to know what's going to come next. And then finally, if they can do that, then you can have a student caller or the teacher can be the caller, and you can call out any verse in any order you want. So you could start off with the stormy ocean verse, and then the next verse you could do the stormy ocean verse again, and you can mix it up in um, any pattern that you want and see if your kids can follow along to what the caller says. All right, that does it for Rocky Mountain. If you have any questions or comments, please put them uh, down below. And as always, please uh, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head. Do, do.